President Obama announced Tuesday that the U.S. plans to remove all troops from Afghanistan by 2016, starting with reducing the troop presence in the country to just 9,800 and an end to the U.S. combat mission at the close of 2014. The move will mark the first time in Mr. Obama's presidency that the U.S. has not had an active combat mission in a foreign country. We have now been in Afghanistan longer than many Americans expected but make no mistake, thanks to the skill and sacrifice of our troops, diplomats and intelligence professionals we have struck significant blows against al-Qaeda's leadership, we have eliminated Osama bin Laden and we've prevented Afghanistan from being used to launch attacks against our homeland, the president said. The U.S. will leave 9,800 groups in the country in 2015 with two narrow missions, according to the White House, continue supporting Afghan forces who took the lead in securing the country last year and continuing to support counter-terrorism operations against the remnants of al-Qaeda. The number of forces will be reduced by about half by the end of 2015 the administration says, and by the end of 2016 will eventually consist of a normal embassy presence with a security assistance office in Cabo, as is the case in Iraq. At the peak of the war, there were 100,000 troops in Afghanistan. Today, there are about 32,000. Mr. Obama noted in his remarks that when he took office, there were 180,000 troops deployed abroad, 